Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another DC comic review, which this time I'm reviewing Batman issue 112, the Fear State Connected one, and here we start off with first things first, does this cover in any way, shape or form, connect with anything that is happening inside the story? And sure enough, it does, uh, to which I gave the cover a rating of 7.5 out of 10. I'll now jump into showing you some art around the beginning, the middle, and of course the end. Starting now. Now this is some of the art around the beginning, and as you can see, we've got Batman there. And I must admit, what we've got happening here, especially with Batman, it reminds me of something that's happened within the Arkham Asylum video game. Just the way how this is actually happening with Batman. And there we see Simon Saint in the background as he's preparing. I'll now move to some art around the middle of the story. And this is some art around the middle of the story. To which we can see Peacekeeper 01, some of the other villains. And of course... Cassandra Kane at the clock tower. It's where she finally catches up with Batman. And now, some art towards the end. And, of course, you're getting spoilers, and I don't really care. <laughs> As this is a new villain edition. Peacekeeper X. Hmm... One thing I will not be doing is covering the backstory on Clown Hunter, so I'm just covering the main story. I have read it. I thought it was okay for what it was. You might enjoy the backstory more so than the main story. So, for the internal art, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Not a 7.5, but a 7 out of 10. Um, I did feel it sort of slipped in some areas as to how the artist was trying to bring the story across. As it felt like it had a little bit of a bleed over. Um, just in some areas, but not all. But it was still interesting and fun to read through it. Um... So, art overall, 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the story rating. So, starting off with first things first, did we get any comic book references? Uh, yes, we did. And, in fact, it was the last issue, which was the Batman Fear State issue 1. Uh, moving into the next thing, the time, we got no indication as to what time that this is taking place. It would not hurt to include it in the story. Um, the locations that were shown in this story. We had Saint Industries. As we saw Simon Saint doing a lot of behind the work scenes. And work in regards to getting the magistrate system up. As well as. Basically how Simon Saint has used Scarecrow against Batman. And we had, last but not least, the Clock Tower. The cast consisting of Simon Saint, Batman, Scarecrow, Peacekeeper 01, Cassandra Kane, Batgirl. We also had Orica, uh, Oracle, Spoiler. We also had the Anti-Oracle which is connected to the Magistrate system. Uh, we had Ghostmaker, Poison Ivy, Harley, 
along with Gardner, and last but not least, the appearance of Peacekeeper X at the end. Overall, this was a very interesting story, and it's nice to see Crane <laughs> um, actually be a little of um, a pain in, pain in the bum for Batman. Um, as he gets leveled up with some of these things in this. And also how Batman is actually trying to overcome what is happening. Um, he's tried to use some of his own antidotes and whether they're actually working or not in the story. We'll probably find out a little bit further uh, as we get along in the Batman Fear State storyline. Or if you'll have to get up a new antidote to counter the fear toxin. So for the story rating, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.